Okie dokie, I'm ready for the next layer on that. So, remember we're gradually getting darker. Let's introduce a little bit of water into this area. Just so it's easier to extend a puddle than it is to just paint in the puddle. Because when you just, if you go for a darker pigment, it stains right where you touch it. And so we want it to dissolve just a little bit into this rather than, than the other on that. So there's some just some water. And remember, we're, we're looking for some blue. So I'm trying to get a little bit more blue. And there's my blue. And I can paint right up to the edge. Well, that's that's pretty dark. I can I can go just a little lighter, I think. I think I'm going to go back get some water and moisten this up a little bit. So let's get some water right in here. Still want to maintain that this is a puddle. Now since this has is a little more jiggity jaggedy, I gotta be a little more careful with the tip of the brush. That's getting a little lighter, huh? Okay, so now I have the upper edge all painted. And you know, since I had a little bit of green in that before, right, I, I, I accidentally had some, some green in my, in my brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of green in here too. Okay, now let's flip her around and get back to that blue. And this is really jiggity jaggedy, so I got to use just the tippy tippy tip of this big fat brush to get into those corners. And then we can also put some black in there in just a, a few, right? Notice the tip of the brush right up to the, the boundary. You do have a pretty good bit of control with the tip of the brush. Here's some more of that black. Right? There's the tip of the brush. This takes a little bit more time and so I gotta double check make sure everything's not drying out like back over here. We're still put, looking pretty soggy over there too. And this does need to be darker than, than the other part so I got I went back and got a little more blue and put it in here so that could be darker let's go get some black get some blue. I'm almost there. We're still preserved. This whole thing is a big puddle.
I have to be a little more precise because I used that um, heavy pencil line. If I had a lighter pencil line, if I went over it, it just blend in. But since I have a big heavy pencil line, I gotta gotta make sure I stay right up to those lines. Okay, so there we have the puddles in there. And it's pretty dark up on this upper edge, and so that's pretty good. I think I want to pop just a little more green in here, just because I had that green in what was underneath. And I want it a little more unified. But also a little bit of black. Those are some areas that were drying out just a wee bit. So I got to go back in and get them wet again. Okay, so once again, layer in light, medium, dark, medium, and then preparing for the darkest value. Once again, time to let things dry. There we go, and we'll let it dry.